dairy farming is a way of life. In fact, 99% of all dairy farms are owned by families. It's where the farmers live as well as their cows. Part of a farmer's way of life is taking good care of their cows. It's a source of real pride and satisfaction. Farmers love to see a cow chewing her cud. It means that the cow was content and relaxed, and that they are doing a good job of taking care of her. Cows are a part of what's called the circle of life. Think of it this way. The sun's energy is captured by plants. Cows eat those plants, often ones we humans can't, and they also drink a lot of water. They transform the plants and water into milk, and then we drink the milk, which is a concentrated source of nutrition and energy. Farmers give their cows plenty of fresh, clean water throughout the day. A whole bathtub's worth. Farmers also need to feed each cow almost 90 pounds of food a day. Some cows may get that while eating grass, but a lot of it comes at feeding time. Just look at what they get. Things like cottonseed, shelled corn, hay, and fiber extender, that includes wheat middlings, soybean hulls, even chocolate. It's like a salad for cows. And what a cow eats changes throughout her life. For instance, calves go from drinking a calf milk formula, to eating a starter grain, to eating feed that is balanced and specialized for her adult life. And at some farms, the cows can lick a mineral tub anytime they want. It's like a giant lickable vitamin pill. With all that water and all that food, cows have a lot of milk to give. Up to 200 glasses a day. Cows like to be milked. They're calm and content while being milked which happens two or three times a day, and only takes about four minutes each time. At some farms, the cows come to the milker, and at other farms, the milker comes to the cows. Either way, the process is pretty much the same. The cow's teats are cleaned and then dried. The milker is connected and gently squeezes out the milk. At many farms, the milker stops automatically when the cow has no more milk. Then the cow gets a protective coating put on her teats to keep them healthy. For about two months each year, before a cow has her calf, she has a vacation from being milked. She relaxes and stores up her nutrition and energy for the baby to come. Cows need to be in very healthy condition to make milk. Cows have their own doctors, called veterinarians, or vets who treat them just like our doctors treat us, checking on them often and giving them vaccinations so they won't get diseases and giving them medicine when they're sick. There's also an important person on many dairy farms called the herdsman, who helps the cows stay healthy and nurses them when they're sick. Herdsmen and farmers know every cow on the farm as individuals, often by name. By using a cow's ear tags, the herdsman keeps track either on a computer or in a notebook, of each cow. When she was born, any medicine she's had, and how much milk she's given. A herdsman can tell when a cow isn't feeling well by taking her temperature, observing the way she looks, or noticing a decrease in the amount of milk she produces. If they need help in getting her better, that's when the vet is called. Farmers and their herdsmen do many things to make sure their cows are comfortable and feel good. Everything from giving them their exercise, to getting their hooves trimmed and bait. It's like a pedicure for cows. And to having really nice, clean places to sleep. Some barns have sawdust or sand bedding. Some even have water beds. There's always lots of fresh water for each cow. Lots of fresh air circulating. And in warm weather, some farms have water misters to keep cows cool and comfortable. On dairy farms, people and cows are like partners. They're with each other all the time, and they're in tune to one another. So the next time you see a cow chewing her cud, you'll know that it means she's content. It's kind of like a cow's smile. <laughs>